Hello, baby viewers on the Who are you? And today I'm in Batman Dummy series, Robin's Reckoning. And in this, uh, Robin, or Dick Grayson, or one call him, uh, finally had the chance to confront the man who uh, took his parents away from uh, Tony Zuko. Uh, Batman is trying to keep him out of it. And I do kind of, kind of funny before uh, Ron found out Zuko, he looked up at the aliases of, this, uh, of the guy that was uh, named when they were taking down this uh, group of uh, contract saboteurs. I wonder if this was uh, Sid the Squid, and this is before uh, the episode The Man Who Killed Batman came out. So, yeah. Um, Robin does say so annoyed and frustrated with Batman. He considering not doing anything Batman tell him to do a, at all at, at this point. And this actually has a flashbacks to uh, the Grayson's origins. What kind of origins as Robin does own his uh, parents' death. Well, kind of, since they only saw the. the the team that the Akbats hold on to when the the, the team they grab or something. Yeah, apparently uh, the studio or the networks they want to sell dead bodies. Well, I think the song the cut the string thing was a the good compromise. And that's it to a. Uh, great scenes with Bruce and Dick in the flashback. One where Bruce is a said, uh, re like him and Dick are that difference is they both lost their parents at a young age. And uh, another scene in the second part of the episode where him and Dick are uh, fencing, or Bruce had to take, these Bruce had to use a sword and that's actually having fun, like that's actually playing with a dick while doing that. So, I think like Bruce smiled a lot more than when he was younger. It's weird. Uh, there's a uh, uh, Zuko, that's the, the nephew of uh, Arnold Strongwell, the uh, character that was in a, It's Never Too Late. And uh, Luke is also voiced by the guy that, that played uh, Biff Tannen and some of the other Tannens. Or one of the other Tannens in the Back to the Future trilogy. So, good. And he seems a bit uh, paranoid and a little insane in the second part. Like, he's, he's actually considering a suit and his own men to get a Batman when he's uh, stuck on, on a carousel. Ugh, <sighs> don't know. And, uh, that's the other thing where, in the flashback, when Bruce said it was, uh, going undercover in the homeless uh, district to just get some information where, uh, as Zuko could be. So, that's kind of good. Then one of the guys saw he's probably a copper detective. Oh, yeah, and the back costume in the flashback is a bit different. It looks like it's, uh, it's similar to the one in uh, the new Batman Adventures, part of a different belt or something, but. And, uh, I'm glad that Alfred's the one that uh, informs uh, Bruce that Dick needs his attention more than strong than uh, as Zuko, since Bruce is just going after Zuko for Dick. Maybe because he wanted uh, Dick to end up like him and not get the guy who took his parents away from him or something. That usually the reason why uh, Batman goes after uh, Zuko and some other uh, adaptations, I think. But hmm. 
um, the power in Brahma she shows up and that's being the crap. As you go, is that it goes in well and does that when he just like yell up Bamantine or he can never understand why he's going through, but he does know that he can. And I think it will end well with Bamantine revealing the reason he didn't want Rom to evolve it and that he told Rom to take it too far, but he was just fear they might lose Rom because of Zuko, so. Yeah, in the episode, I think it's called uh, Batman has the stone cold, has so called heart, and he doesn't really uh, care about him on that, but it seems like this episode that Batman does uh, care about Dick, maybe uh, even more than uh, Dick uh, ever thought of, but. Hmm. Um, yeah, there's a great episode, and it's easy to see why this uh, episode won an Emmy uh, back in the day. And I think uh, uh, Dick's uh, voice actor, like the teenage Dick, uh, did a great job with the uh, on lines he did. And some some of the uh, scene with Dick on the uh, the motorcycle kind of goes well, like when he uh, jumps over a bridge when he's about to uh, separate into two uh, parts, or when he goes under a truck while he's still riding the motorcycle. It's good. It's good. <laughs> um, the, the kid playing the younger dick was pretty good, and I'm guessing that the younger dick is probably 10 since as Zuko saying it's been 9 years that, that he's been away from Gotham. So, I guess the older dick is 19, so... Hmm. Um, uh, oh yeah, and two other good scenes in flashback is when uh, Batman goes in to save Dick when he actually finds, or when they both find, uh, Zuko, and um, when he actually brings Dick to the back cave and reveals that he's Bruce Wayne. And uh, you kind of tell that when Dick was leaving the circus, he's gonna be, he just seemed upset and some of the so according to Gordon, some of the circle folk offered to take Dick in, but Gordon was worried that they might get try to get the dam to give Dick get the Dick or something. Hmm. Um, does it give does it show they probably uh, miss the circus and probably give, give the episode uh, uh when they go back to a uh, hay circus a bit more uh. Context or something, or it's just something I probably didn't miss it at the time, but mm, don't know if there's any here, but anyway, uh, as I said, it's a great episode, and uh, I think is another great one, but I'll get that next time. Uh, to time, I'll see you guys later.